of agreements that were designed explicitly to strengthen this foundation and prevent the kind of situation that we are seeing today. Uh, I was very honest in my discussions with Chinese Foreign Minister, especially in conveying our national sentiments on this issue. The frictions and tensions that arise from China's deployment since April 2020 cannot be reconciled with a normal relationship between two neighbors. Uh, Foreign Minister Wang Yi spoke about China's desire for a return to normalcy while also referring to the larger significance of our ties. We have uh, still uh, ongoing friction areas. We have also made a lot of progress uh, in resolving some other uh, friction areas and Peng Gongso, uh, was uh, uh, is notable uh, in that regard. So essentially our discussion uh, today uh, was uh, to uh, how to take this forward. Now you all know that uh, the senior military commanders have been meeting, there have been 15 rounds. Uh, in fact uh, Naveen here has been attending those meetings as well. Uh, now uh, the point is that uh, so long as uh, there are uh, very large deployments uh, uh, in the border areas uh, which uh, are uh, uh, violative of the 1993 and 96 agreements. Uh, uh, the clearly the border uh, area situation is not normal. So the main point which again I have spelt out uh, at some length in my statement is we have a situation where peace and tranquility in the border areas has been disturbed. So the situation there is not normal. If the situation there is not normal, if peace and foundation, tranquility is the foundation uh, of, uh, you know, the uh, basis of how we are going forward, then obviously that is also disturbed. So the uh, answer in that sense is, if you ask me, uh, is, is our relationship normal today? My answer to you is no, it is not. Uh, and it cannot be normal if the situation in the border areas is abnormal. And surely the presence of a large number of troops there uh, in contravention of agreements is abnormality. Uh, the second uh, uh, issue, how hopeful am I? Well, you know, uh, we've had, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Minister Wangi and I, myself, we've had meetings before uh, and there have been talks uh, in parallel. Not only the senior military commanders, but also we've had, I think, eight eight meetings of the WMCC, which is the working mechanism uh, dealing with this issue. So they have made considerable progress. I, I don't dispute that. In fact, I welcome that. But they haven't sorted out the issue in entirety. So our effort is today to sort out the issue in entirety and deal with the disengagement so that it then allows us to look at the de-escalation uh, possibilities.